If you were wanting to make your Epson XP 15,000 chipless, then stay tuned. You won't want to miss this video. Hey, what's going on? The printer guy here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download software and use an activation key to make your Epson XP 15,000 chipless. The reason you would want to go chipless is to use a CISS system or to use remanufactured ink. To do this process, you will need a Windows a desktop or laptop. Uh, you're going to need a USB cable that connects directly from your computer to your printer. Uh, and then once you have that hooked up, you're going to want to go to inkchip.net. Uh, this website is down in the description below. You could click it, go there. You're going to click on SOFT for software. And you're going to scroll down until you see the XP15000 or whatever model you're looking for. You may be looking for another model because, of course, this video is going to be compatible for other models models as well. You're going to download the firmware which is the first download button in the column for the printer you've chosen. You're going to have a file like this, you're going to open it up and for me I actually had to uh, click here uh, inkchip.net firmware. I extracted all uh, and that actually allowed me to have another file that popped up and that was the file that I actually uh, would open up and then go down there inkchip.net firmware uh, that second one that had the extract all file that's the one that actually got me to this point where I could actually download the software because your printer is already connected with the USB cable the printer model should show up under model name USB new version and you're going to click on start once you click on start you select the printer the firmware will begin to download onto the printer. You're going to allow this to download to 100% because once it's at 100%, that means the firmware is fully uh, uploaded onto the printer, but that's not where the process ends. You also need your activation key, your activation code, and that's what we're going to be working on next. We're going to go down to uh, download the activation back on inkchip.net. Uh, you simply just need to go down similarly to what we did before, click download that's the middle download button for the specific printer in this case it's the epson xp 15000 that's going to download another software uh, that will uh, pop up like this this is a tool that you can use and this is where you would put in your activation code which we then again have to go back to the website inkchip.net click on buy and then we're going to go down to the xp series we're going to select the specific model again xp 15000 it's about 55 dollars going to click add to cart and don't forget to use the discount code best printers if you go down to the coupon code click on it and type in best printers you're going to get 10 percent off don't miss out on that savings uh, before you proceed to checkout it's going to knock off about five dollars and fifty cents for this specific purchase for the xp 15,000. you can put in your information and pay once you've paid you should get an email with the activation code uh, this is the activation code you're going to copy and paste into the activation tool that you've already downloaded onto your computer you will now input your activation code, click OK, and we can move forward with uh, the process. Activation code written successfully, that means that the printer can now be restarted, and that firmware, uh, the activation key that's on the printer will now restart it, and it can now become chipless. You can use a CISS system, and you can also use remanufactured ink that maybe previously was not working. Now the code with a lot of the digits with a lot of the A's in it, that's actually your recovery code. You're going to want to keep that for future reference. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.